defend acts of terror and criminality. And intelligence professionals can use these types of talks to gain strategic insights into a terrorist group's thinking, plans, organizational structure, personnel, and leadership. If this is the type of engagement Jonathan is advocating for us with Al-Qaeda, I'm all for it. Just promise me you won't call it a negotiation.
to reach the stage where, where Jonathan feels that a negotiation might be worthwhile. On Kashmir, um, there are probably lots of reasons, lots of good reasons to solve it. I'm not optimistic that should it one day miraculously be solved that all of a sudden that um, the Pakistanis will no longer support Al Qaeda. I think they have reasons for doing so that have to do with their long-standing rivalry with India that goes beyond Kashmir and the need to have strategic depth, as they call it. So by all means, let's solve Kashmir, but I don't think that's the key that unlocks uh, the end of Al Qaeda for us. And I just want to make one other point. Um, Jonathan keeps on saying that my view is that we should kill or capture all the terrorists. Uh, in fact, uh, I'm the one who quotes Petraeus proving that we cannot kill or capture all the terrorists. Would that we could, I would have no problem. But the reality is, as Jonathan said, it's operationally impossible, uh, politically unfeasible, and financially unaffordable. The question then is, how do you make some distinctions among these groups? Ones that you can sit down and negotiate with. I mean a full-fledged negotiation, not the lower level context where Jonathan and I are both in agreement. But how do you make that distinction? Sometimes you can talk, sometimes you should talk, but sometimes you can't. And in, in Iraq, in Iraq, in Anbar province, uh, I was all in favor of talking with the Sunni tribes. Uh, the group that we should not have talked with and we did not talk with was Al-Qaeda in Iraq. And so yes, we were talking to both Sunnis who wanted to talk to us, but not Al-Qaeda in Iraq. Again, a very, very useful example of making an important distinction, one that was essential for Petraeus and the surge and the Anbar awakening get, uh, taking place and being successful. I used to come back from the region, of course, one of those conditions of being Al Qaeda in Iraq, they are still blowing up bombs, they are still massacring people, and unless we find a way of dealing with them, we won't. So we, I guess we're in agreement on that. You can't solve the terrorist problem by police means. Uh, you, in the end, there will be a physical issue there that you need to deal with, and it's your sort of fair to, to wait until we go away, which may or may not happen. Interestingly, in the earlier response uh, really suggested that the reason we couldn't talk about Al Qaeda was the Iran Contra problem. The American politics is too difficult to have a denial of organization with a group like that. I just want to put back to the notion then that I think it would be a bit harder for you if I was to say, would you have an Iran Contra problem in talking to the Taliban? There's lots of talk about Americans not being able to engage with the Taliban. In 2001, that would be unthinkable. You say there's nothing to engage with the Taliban, but we can't possibly engage with them. Their views are anathema to us. What they're trying to achieve is completely unacceptable. They allow the attack on the Twin Towers to be launched in their country. So, I think mean, that really substantiates my point, which is a matter of time. 2001, that was impossible. Now we think we can talk to the Taliban. And I'm just arguing that actually what history shows us is that we used to use terrorist talking to the Taliban, think of it as a time. Talking to the man was unthinkable. We did it. Talking to the other was unthinkable. We did it. Well, in fact, uh, in the 1990s, we did talk to the Taliban. We talked to them about handing over Osama bin Laden. Uh, after 9-11, uh, we talked to the Taliban again about handing over Osama bin Laden. In March of 2009, President Obama said publicly, we are going to be talking to the Taliban. Uh, much to my surprise, I admit, there was no pushback uh, from uh, the Republican Party and conservative uh, voices in the United States. General Petraeus, Secretary of Defense Gates, have also said that we'll be talking to the Taliban. So again, I think that people can make a distinction uh, between talking to the Taliban and talking to Al-Qaeda. And uh, that's really uh, the major point I try to make in, in, in the book, is that how do you tell the difference and what guidelines can we learn from history? Right.